How do you do? This is Kevin Soda. I'm from the porch. I'm on my porch here in uh, Kansas City. And I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we think a storm's coming in later today. Um, I, thank you for watching Kevin Soda channel. Uh, I'm going to talk about the five secrets of effective communication today. Uh, for me, a lifelong issue has been communication. I've had to I guess that's that cool win. I've I've been interested in communication since I was young. I uh, took a lot of communication courses in uh, high school and followed it up with uh, some courses in college. Um, but it's time to reflect uh, as we get along in the years. Are we really using the effective forms of communication that we could be? Uh, here are five ones. Uh, five uh, types of communication that would help one to be more effective. Uh, this summary comes from David D. Burns, a uh, medical doctor. And uh, let's talk about listening skills. So to give you three points on listening skills and two points on self-expression skills. Overall, these are the five secrets of effective communication. All right. Um, the first one is called the disarming technique. It's a listening skill. You find some truth in what the other person is saying, even if it seems totally unreasonable or unfair. And so, for example, let's say some relative keeps sending you uh, Facebook messages that uh, tell you all kinds of crazy things about COVID-19 or Donald Trump or some things. They could be true, uh, but the person is, believes they're true and you don't okay so you still have to uh, try something nice to say uh, you know something reasonable or you know just to indicate that uh, they're not totally loony otherwise you'll never get uh, any message or connection with the person so the disarming technique is uh, listening skill number one you find some truth into it you say hmm well, it's true that some medications might be good for you. All right. Mm. Uh, that medicine that Donald Trump's promoting may be not the one. Maybe it is. I, I'd investigate it. Um, but I just saw one about mar medical marijuana that says it's really good. Have you checked that one out? And so there must be some solution. You're right. Okay. Try to be uh, reasonable and don't let the other person uh, think that you're saying they're unfair and don't come across unfair and don't come across unreasonable yourself so uh, this is the disarming technique it's a charming uh, listening tactic uh, number two empathy empathy you put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to see the world through his or her eyes for example Imagine you come from background of having lived in many countries, talked with many different people, many different perspectives, but um, they sit at home in a small town in southwestern Missouri and uh, they watch Fox News exclusively and they talk to the same neighbors and same people over and over again. Expecting them to, to be on the same page with you is not going to be fair to them. So you should have empathy first instead of charging them with uh, negative um, garbage, which they may have, but that's not the point. You put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to see the world through his or her eyes. Empathy first, before even talking. Uh, thought empathy is where you paraphrase the other person's words when they're talking. So you're saying this. Um, Donald Trump has been good for the economy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you nod and repeat what they say, but you don't have to necessarily agree with it, but that creates a sense of empathy that you did listen and you uh, were able to uh, communicate that listening. Uh, feeling empathy is something different. You acknowledge how or she is probably feeling, like you say. Uh, maybe um, the person is feeling 
upset and you recognize that feeling. The upset could be because of other things you might want to point out. Uh, maybe they're upset uh, about the government um, doing too many things and in, invading in their lives, uh, you know, with the coronavirus, telling people stay at home, not to work, whatever, I wear a mask, and they're rebelling against it because they're feeling upset um, at the government. The thing is, of course, you, in reality, they might be missing the points here and uh, hyper-focusing on their liberty and stuff like that. Uh, but feeling empathy is where you should start. You acknowledge how he or she is probably feeling. You just work with the feelings because the feelings uh, can come from anywhere and be misdirected in any statement that they say. So just realize the person's feeling bad. Okay, uh, work with that when you're listening. You don't have to convince them of anything. You say, I understand you're worried. Mm -hmm. I understand you're upset. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't point fingers. Okay, another one is uh, listening skills. Uh, uh, the third point in listening skills, excuse me, is called inquiry. You ask gentle, probing questions to learn more about what the other person is thinking and feeling. So focus on their thinking and feeling, uh, especially their feelings, okay? Uh, the thinking will come out along with the feelings. It could be that the feelings are really what's driving uh, what their statements are. And they may not make sense even to them if they think about it, but key on their feelings acknowledge their fe uh, feelings uh, through your questioning mm -hmm. and uh, then maybe talk about thinking uh, that others around them have and how they maybe are different you can talk about all kinds of things about the what they're thinking um, and it could be just your being curious about how they're thinking and what they're thinking and feeling may bridge the relationship. Again, it may not bridge in a day, but after all, if they're your, your relatives, you gotta work on it. It's not gonna come easy. All right. Uh, next area, uh, two suggestions for the, uh, excuse me, uh, two more secrets of effective communication are under self-expression skills. Um, first one is, I feel statements. Uh, you use the word, I feel statements, such as, I feel upset, rather than you statements, such as, you're wrong. You're making me furious. Um, this probably comes later after empathy, but if you can do it, you say, I feel upset because you never agree with me. Mm -hmm. I feel upset because uh, your promotion of this severe libertarian view of I can do anything I want and focus on me has hurt me. You know, because it's part of my identity. It's part of my concern of others. I don't want people walking around without masks who aren't concerned with others. It makes me think you're not concerned with others. And it's just the way I feel. Uh, but again, if you talk about you and them, leave out those words. I should have probably said, uh, when other people are not wearing their mask in public, it makes me feel like they're not concerned about others. I feel that way. I may be wrong, but that's the way I feel. Um, so don't, so stop using you and pointing at your, the person you're talking to, but use other people make me feel this way. If you want to talk about such issues. Um, and don't try to promote a conversation at all. If you're saying you're wrong or you're making me furious, you don't use those words. You just say, I feel that and let them deal with that. Um, if they have empathy, it'll work on them maybe, hopefully. Uh, number five, self-expression. Uh, 
I'll read through all this. This is the second one point under self-expression skills. Stroking. You find yourself generally uh, positive things to say to the other people. Find something generally, genuinely positive to say to the other person, even in the heat of the battle. Uh, like, um, I, I said this to my dad once and it was totally disarming, but I don't know if it's what they mean here in the five secrets. But uh, once my dad was very angry and I, know, I said, your eyes look very nice. Um, it caught him totally off guard. No, I think he, he was supposed, he didn't know what to say after that. Uh, no, generally, uh, try to say something genuinely positive to the other person, even in the heat of the battle. You convey an attitude of respect when you do so, even though you may feel very angry with the other person. Say, I love you. You are a loving person in many ways. And I appreciate that. Okay. I'll go through the five secrets again to summarize. First one is, uh, in order to have effective communication, use the disarming technique. You find some truth in the other, what the other person is saying and you um, let them know that they're not totally crazy, unreasonable, or unfair. Uh, number two, empathy. You put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to see the world through his or her eyes. Uh, you thought empathy, that's where you paraphrase the other person's words fairly exactly. Um, I hear you say, I think you are saying, I feel you're saying, um, is important. And you can express your own feelings that way, but let them say, I think you are feeling, or I feel you are feeling this way. Okay. Uh, third, uh, secret of effective communication is inquiry. You ask gentle, probing questions to learn more about what the other person is thinking and learn and feeling. Probing questions about how they're thinking, what they're thinking. Instead of pointing the finger, just let them express that. Uh, Self-expression skills are number four. I feel statements. You use I feel instead of you. Instead of you. I feel upset rather than you statements. You're wrong. You're making me furious, okay? You may talk about others, but don't be pointing the finger. You can say, when others do this, I feel this way. Um, number five is stroking. You find something genuinely, genuinely positive to say to the other person, even in the heat of battle. You convey an attitude of respect, even though you may feel very angry with the other person. All right. So those are the five secrets of effective communication according to David Burns. I, um, well, I appreciate sharing those with you on the porch and I appreciate your comments. If you have any comments, just let me know. Um, we welcome them and I'll try to respond. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And thanks for watching the Kevin Stoddard channel and the five secrets of effective communication.